Hello everyone. <coughs> My name is Tae Young Jung from Inertial Motion Capture App in Hanjiang National University in Korea. I am working on wearable sensors for joint angle estimation. Particularly this time, I talk about this title. I am new based, but millimeter free joint angle estimation of constraint link. Starting with the brief introduction, I will present the method and experimental research. Basically, this research deal with the joint angle estimation by using wearable IMU, which stands for inertial measurement unit. The joint angle is used for dynamic energies in rehabilitation or sports field, or as indicators of the prosthesis and robot control. So, it is very important to estimate the accurate joint angle. Recently, IMMU is sent for inertial and magnetic measurement unit, showing their size and cost, especially due to the MEMS technology. So, they became one of the most popular wearable sensors, and they are also very suitable for joint angle estimation that I'm talking about. <coughs> and in order to do for joint angle, the orientation of each link connected by a joint is required. This research, we focused on a spare car joint. And generally, 3D orientation estimation method based on IMMU is performed two, through two processes. The first process is Step down integration using gyroscope signal. The second process is drift correction using accelerometer and magnetometer signals. However, the IMMU based orientation estimation method has two critical issues in the drift correction process. <coughs> One issue is tilted estimation error due to external acceleration in dynamic conditions. And the other is, is heading estimation errors due to magnetic distortion caused by ferromagnetic material around the sensor. Particularly, the heading estimation can be seriously degraded due to magnetic distortion. Accordingly, various distortion compensation mechanisms have been proposed for IMMU based methods. But, as long as magnetometer signals are used for correction, effects of magnetic distortions cannot be completely eliminated. Alternatively, in order to avoid the uh, magnetometer related problems, IMU based method without using a magnetometer have also been proposed. But in this case, the drift in heading direction are unavoidable. Therefore, today, both IMMU-based and IMU-based methods have their own problems and fail to properly deal with the magnetic distortion issue. This research may provide a solution to this issue. In this research, we propose an IMU-based but magnetometer-free joint angle estimation using a kinematic constraint. Before I move to the estimation method, let me briefly explain the orientation representation. The rotation matrix represents the, the orientation of sensor frame with respect to the, to the inertial reference frame. Here, the G and X are the axis vectors of inertial frame with respect to the sensor frame and they represent the tilt and heading information respectively. As you can see the figure, the proposed Kalman filter is composed of two Kalman filters. The tilt estimate Kalman filter for G vectors followed by the heading estimation karma filter or x vector. For the TST estimation karma filter, 
we simply use a conventional carbon filter because the purpose of our research is having having its mission without using a magnetometer. You notice that the purpose carbon filter uses only accelerometer and gyroscope signal and does not use magnetometer signals. Instead of magnetometer signals, purpose method use a kinematic constraint to correct a relative drift between two links connected by a joint. In our approach, one link goes through only prediction set with a correction set, while the other link goes through both prediction and correction set. This is because the goal of this research is the joint and joint angle estimation, not the orientation of each ring. Therefore, this method concerns only uh, the relative drift between two links, but orientation of each ring doesn't have to be accurate. As, as long as joint angle from the two link orientation is accurate. The step down integration is used in the prediction set like other algorithms. Uh, and for proof of concept, we selected a vertical joint as a particular joint type. And in the correction set, the proposed method use, uses a acceleration level kinematic constraint of the joint, but the other method used magnetometer signal instead. The following equation comes from the fact that the acceleration of center joints is the same whether you look at the link I or link, link J. And the constraint equation uses only accelerometer and gyroscope signals. The following figure shows the experimental setup. For the performance verification, we use MTW IMM news from Accent Technology at the Nendo Lab. Also, we use an optical motion capture system to obtain the reference values of the joint angle. And we use a skew that driver to generate magnetic distortions. Verification tests were performed under dynamic conditions, and only one link was exposed to arbitrary magnetic distortions. And we compared the performance of proposed method with performances of other two methods. One method is a conventional heading estimation carbon filter with a magnetic distortion compensation mechanism. The other is the method to only use step down integration. These are results of test one. The top figure show magnetic distortions applied to the sensor. And the bottom figure showed that the heading error of proposed method is close to zero. In contrast, the other two methods produ produce large errors. The following figure shows results of test two. Results of test two are similar to those of test one. And heading error of proposed method is still close to zero. This is because the proposed method uses a kinematic constraint instead of a magnetometer. The following table shows routine scale errors for both tests. As you can see, the proposed carbon filter outperformed the other two. And from the result, we can see that magnetic distortions make a serious estimation errors in the conventional method.
even worse than the integration only. And it can be seen that heading of each link affects not only your, but also your and pitch in determining the joint angle. In this research, we propose a novel IMU-based but millimeter free 3D joint angle estimation method by projecting a kinematic constraint to be completely <coughs> free from effects of magnetic distortion. Our experimental results show that the proposed method was superior to other methods. But since the proposed method utilizes the acceleration level kinematic constraint, its correction step works only under dynamic conditions. So, under dynamic conditions, the proposed method can be effectively applied in the field where accurate joint angle is required. Thank you for listening to my presentation. Thank you.